Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The subject of my vlog today is the only question about the Philippines I don't have an answer to. But before we get started, let me welcome my new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, and your support of my channel. It's truly been amazing, and I'll never take that for granted. Here are the top five questions. I receive on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Really doesn't matter. They're not in any order. Number one, do Filipinos like black guys? Number two, should I choose a city girl or a province girl? Number three, do I need a visa? And number four, is how good is the medical care in the Philippines? But this fifth question, I have no answer for. And it's how much money will I need in the Philippines? And it doesn't matter. Some guys are coming for two weeks, two months, two years, and the rest of their lives. It's an open-ended question that no one has an answer for. It's far too many variables involved. And any amount that I give you, it's not going to be enough. So I want to talk about some things that you probably aren't even aware of. That's going to affect how much money you're going to need over here. Then I've got a few suggestions, something that I did that helped me decide how much to bring over here. But the first thing I want to talk about is how are you going to handle excitement when you get over here? See, you don't even understand that when we're excited, we think and behave totally different. According to psychologists, when we get excited, we're more likely to act. We become aroused. Our emotions become so powerful that it affects our decision making. Now, what bigger decision are you going to have over here than with your money? So how are you going to handle that excitement? Because you're going to be excited. Your hair is going to be on fire. Your pants are going to be on fire. You're going to be vulnerable, man. You don't even know that. But that's one thing you need to think about. The second thing is the flip side of that. How are you going to handle the boredom, the downtime? Because every minute, every second, it's not going to whiz by. It's going to be some downtime. Are you going to eat more, drink more, smoke more, be intimate more? Oh, that's going to cost you money over here. So that's something we need to think about. Something else you need to think about is where are you going to spend your time? See, that's going to have a lot to do with how much money you're going to need. Are you going to spend it on resorts? Those are high. Are you going to spend it in hotels, Airbnbs? Are you going to be in the city? Where are you going to be is going to have a dramatic effect on the amount of money you're going to need over here. How long are you going to stay here? That's going to have an effect. But I've got I've got an answer for that one. But also, who are you going to spend your time with? That's even bigger than where you're going to spend your time. A lot of Filipinos over here, they're low maintenance. They're not going to, they're not very expensive. But there's some, when you get over here, they're going to cost you. And it's going to have it's going to put a dent in your wallet if you're not careful. I remember in being in Zamboanga, and I was with a young lady. She needed a phone. She had just a pitiful cherry mobile phone. And so I said, okay, let's go to the phone, uh, you know, the mobile store. I'll buy you a phone. In my mind, I'm thinking three or 4,000 pesos at the most. We get there. One of her friends is in there trying to talk her into buying an 11,000 peso phone. I said, well, you buy the damn phone. Because I'm not spending that kind of money on no phone. On a woman that's got a 300 peso phone right now. But yeah, these are some things you need to think about. Because no matter what I tell you, it's not going to be enough. And the more money you bring over here, the more money you're going to spend. I spent $7,000 over here. That's a fortune over here. Because I had it. I bought it with me. I bought 20000 with me. There was one of my subscribers, and he'll tell you himself. 
he spent 20,000 US dollars in the Philippines in one month. The more money you bring, the more money you're going to spend. But it's better to have more than not enough. Because you don't want to run out of money over here. But one thing I can tell you that helped me, after I spent that 7000 I went home sick. The next time I came to the Philippines, just out of a, just on a humble, I tracked my spending for one month over there in my home country. And I bought that amount over here. Because one of the few things that's going to be the same over here as it is in your country is you. Your spending habits are not going to change overnight. So that's a way that you can kind of get an idea of how much money to bring over here. What about your vices? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do you like the ladies? Whatever it is that you're doing over in your country, I would double that just in case the woman you come over here, maybe she enjoys the same type of vices you enjoy. See, people always throw at me, they always come at me with this. And you can look at the video I did yesterday. Oh, that happens everywhere. Oh, it's like that everywhere. Uh, not just in the Philippines, but this could happen in any country. They don't understand that the Philippines is a special place. It's different from Dominican Republic, from Mexico, from the Caribbean or Caribbean, however you want to pronounce it. Brazil and all those places. You know why? Because it's 8,000 miles on the other side of the planet. If it was the same, why would you come all the way over here? That's a dynamic, man, that's not uh, included in any of those other places. Men come from all over the world to come here. So that's what makes this place different. But how much money you're going to need over here, I have no idea. And if anybody tries to tell you that they know... They're lying, man. They're guessing. But I do know this. It's better to have more than not enough. You don't want to outstay your budget. That's a fact. You don't want to do that. But it's too many variables involved for me to, to give you some type of answer. But of all the questions I get, that's the one that I really can't be honest about. It's not going to... Uh, it's not going to be true because really I don't know you. Who are you? What do you like to do? Where are you going? Who are you going to spend your time with? When you get over here, you see these beautiful women over here, these beautiful white sand beaches, the weather. <laughs> they wear bikinis in the winter time over here. See, it's winter where you are. They're wearing bikinis. Y'all saw them. How are you going to handle all that when you get over here? When you get bored? It's going to go into how much money you need. So I would just say this before I get off of here. Bring as much as you can afford and stay as long as you possibly can. That's the only general answer I always give because I can't be specific. But the more money you bring, the more you're going to spend. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I just did a short video because I got that question again today. Hey, sunshine, show how much you think I'm going to need when I get up to the Philippines. He didn't tell me how long he's going to be here. Well, you're going to be here for two weeks, two years, two months, the rest of your life? It's a question I can't answer. But if you're in America, you're already up. You're on your way to work, to the gym, get a newspaper, a cup of coffee. If you see somebody in the street or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink. Give them a few dollars. Look, guys, this isn't some spiel that I do after every vlog. This is universal law. It's the only reason I'm sitting here today. When you help other people, you're going to get help in return. Sometimes 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times your sacrifice. It's called the law of compensation. And it's just like you don't understand physics, but you believe in the law of gravity. Well, you don't have to understand the law of of compensation to understand this universal law and how it's going to help you. If you're in the Philippines, I guess it's about 8 p.m. It's midnight over here. And I hope you were able to help somebody today. There's no excuse not to help somebody over here, man. Nowadays, go 
Not a day goes by that I don't help people over here. We hired a van because that's a treacherous six and a half hour ride from uh, Barakai to uh, Ilo Ilo. So we hired a van and got a deal. We got a luxury van. It was really nice. Well, anyway, the guy was so, I mean, one of the best drivers we've ever had. We took him to eat on the way. And then we got back. He took us to the pier. We thought we were, were going to be able to buy a ticket and leave today, but we have to leave in the morning. We said, man, do you know any hotels? He took us here. And I've got uh, Philippines on the cheap tip for you guys. If you're in, in Ilo Ilo City, the name of this place is Harbor Town Hotel. $22. Hot and cold water. I mean, an actual knob for the hot actual knob for the cold. You combine them together, get a perfect shower. Ice cold air kind, Wi-Fi, cable, $22, guys. It's clean. And I gave him a 500 peso tip, man. I mean, he was excited, man. That's about two days worth of pay for him over here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe, stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. My next live stream will be Thursday, 9.30 a.m. Philippines time. That's GMT time. And 8.30 p.m. Wednesday night, Eastern Standard Time. It's the same time. Excuse me. My live streams are Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Me and John used to do the one on Friday, but we're not going to, of course, we. I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. I'm not going to replace John. Um, that's over with. So take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time.